Welcome back, family of light. This is Davida with Medium of the Light Tarot. I am back with you, Leos, for a mid-month January 2021 reading. Now I ask that my guides ask your guides to come in for those of you who are going to listen to this message to the end to make sure that you get healing messages that will help you along your journey from the 15th to the 31st. Now, if you are new here, welcome. If you are a returner, oh, welcome back. Please make sure that you give this a thumbs up, Leo, so it can get spread to other Leos that need to hear this healing message. Now, if I go silent, it means that I am listening to my guides, tell me what your guides are saying, or you know, since this is a collective reading. Now, if you want a private reading from me, the description box will tell you everything that you need to know. Now, don't worry about if you see that there is reversed. I don't do reversals as of late. My guides were like, meh, don't do it. We'll give you the storyline anyway and the energies that go with it. They're like, just focus on the pretty pictures and they will point out what needs to be pointed out. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that's why I like so many different decks because they portray so much different kinds of energy. And usually when I'm picking out cards, it takes a minute, but I didn't even, I was like, okay, Le collective legals who are going to listen to this, which deck do you want? This one came out like super quick. I was like, okay. Let me tune in here. This is the mermaid deck, by the way. I can't remember what the last name, her last name is, but it's Lisa, I think is her first name. So for you, it's you, them, and the storyline. For you here, you've got the Three of Cups, the Moon, and the Hanged Man. I feel like what this is specifically saying is you met someone out could have been a while ago and you were keeping your feelings for them under wraps and it was keeping you tied up like you felt like you couldn't say anything and why I'm saying that is for some of you it was because they were with someone else and you thought it would be inappropriate if you shared your emotions or your feelings towards this person. I feel that for the majority of you, you there's two storylines that I'm hearing that you guys ended up getting together romantically. And then for the others of you, you have had it be a friendship. Both ways are friends, but um, I don't feel like you feel real good about it. If it went the route where you guys became intimate. For them, they've got the Queen of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, and the Hierophant. Guides, tell me more. They have feelings of remorse about this too. It's either because they didn't express their full emotion. It, for both scenarios, they did not express their full emotions. And for those of them who, you know, ended up cheating on this other person that they're with, they feel bad about it. They want to make this right and they want a new solid beginning with you, you know, as them being the queen or being the king. And there's feelings of wanting to take this to the next level with you. Yeah, they, they love you. They know that they love you. And I feel like with this moon card with you, you've kept your trap shut. Sorry to be rude, but you've tried not to express too much emotions because you didn't know what to expect. We've got the devil here. This is for the situation. The devil, the chariot, and the five of wands here. 
I think both of you are feeling a little trapped on this. Both of you feel that this is a difficult situation. You know, like I always say, I love having different decks and this is the reason why. See how she, well, I think it's a she. Regardless, they're in this cage, right? But look, the lock is undone. So what this is telling me is that you can get out of this. You can move past this. It doesn't mean get out of the relationship because I don't feel that either of you want to. <clears throat> Even if, there, if there's been expressions of guilt and remorse about the way you guys conducted. You know, whatever the situation is. Whether you slept with them or you did not. Yet. I feel like there's other, there's other people involved just, you know, over the top of the person that they're with. I'm hearing for some of you that they might have broken it off with this other person and there's a whole slew of people who are not happy about it. They're feeling like, you know, you, you know, it's like a, it's like a friend group, you know, like, oh, how could you portray this person? How could you do that? That's for some of you in this storyline. You know, and it's with this, Three of Cups here has made you kind of have to be the ice queen. You know, it's like standing your ground, protecting yourself. You know, because I, th I feel like even if you went to these friends, or these people that are mutual friends and go, that's not what I intended. I didn't intend to go out and steal someone's person. You know, that wasn't anything that you were intending. <clears throat> but sometimes people cannot stop their attraction. With this moon card, you feel like, oh, all is lost. You know, I did the wrong thing. I should have done something different. You know, but you know that there's this love cards behind you. Love cards. <laughs> These cup of loves behind you. You know, and it's like you're comforting the crowd. Because you do feel bad. You're like, I don't want to be a freaking home wrecker. I don't want, you know. This was not something that you had foreseen when you went out that night or how, wherever it occurred. So with the hangman is the fool. So you're wanting a new perspective here and you want a new start. And I feel that this person does too with you. With this queen of pentacles, here comes the seven of swords. So I feel like after the truth, if, you know, if for your storyline, the truth came out and, you know, this mob group here is not real excited about the disgrace. It's, it's upset the whole social apple cart is what I'm hearing. You know, and you're having to be the ice cream because you feel like you need to, and they feel like they need to protect themselves. With the Ace of Cups comes the Ace of Swords. This new beginning is coming. You know, there's love here. You know, there's this thing that can cut through anything. You know, with this old rope here and the sword. Your person knows they have to pick up the sword and cut these ties. Cut this energetic cord to this other person. You know, and the only thing that I would caution you about is... Has this person done this before? Because if this is the first time you've been a quote unquote home wrecker or whatever, you know, how it goes with your storyline, just make sure that this isn't their MO. You don't want to get with somebody who this is how they operate, that they have done this before. So that's just a cautionary tale of, hey. So with the Hierophant is the Nine of Wands. Your person is definitely working towards you guys being together. They really do want this. With the devil here mm, comes the four of pentacles. Four of pentacles, geez Louise. Four of wands. They want to make they want to take this to the next level with you. They see you as their person. So you know I feel like both of you see each other as their person. 
because you're going to be able to get out of this, this devil situation, you know, free yourself, work towards it. With the chariot card, the movement card, there is, you know, temperance. So there's going to be a little bit of time. There's going to be some balancing, you know, especially with the social situation. It's something that you might, you guys might end up having to walk away from because they're going to side with the person that is being left. You know, and I can tell that both of you don't like the situation. You know, nobody meant to hurt anybody. So with the five of wands comes, comes the judgment. <clears throat> and that is very appropriate here. You know, where the, the crowd's coming in and they're judging the two of you. So just know that you there's no way that you can stop the judgment. You know, and for some of you, you might have a child on the way with this person. But the seven of wands here which makes it even harder and it brings up a lot more animosity in this in the social group. You know, so you guys are not high on their their Facebook feed or whatever. I don't do Facebook, so I'm like, I don't know. I'm just pulling that out of my butt. But um <clears throat> let's see. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's pull some love messages from your person. I don't really feel like you guys are not communicating. It's just the situation at hand. You feel like a warm home to me. I mean, and look at this. I mean, that kind of exemplifies it, right? Waiting for that new beginning. Sorry, I'm trying to get the glare out. So you feel like a warm home to them, but you know that. All right, what other messages do we need to give, Spirit? Because this one seems pretty straightforward. You guys are going to come together. The social group's going to hate you all. Be haters on you. Um, let's see. What I'm hearing is that you're being hard on yourself, you know, with this ice queen. Because, you know, you've lost some friends in this situation. What I'm hearing is some of the friends will come back eventually. But right now, no. Wow. Bride in a cage. So, where is that card? You know, some people, I think actually your family members are going to be saying, are you sure this person's just not trying to trap you? Because you are pregnant for some of you. And if you don't know that yet, you might be. And it's not for everyone, but definitely, you know, figure that out. Now, generally, even when I get this card, I don't necessarily think about that, but it's definitely coming through with this one. So, bride in a cage. So, just make sure that, you know, this is what you want to do, even if you're scared because you're pregnant. Okay? And, you know, you feel guilt about it, and, you know, that's how, you know, you're... You're so, the social group that you guys had together, this is how they would look at you and go, oh, look at that lovely bride. You know, so there's a lot of criticism that you're having to work through, but it's the nature of the beast. So work through it. Know that they love you. And anything else, Spirit? No. All right, you guys, please give this a thumbs up. There's other people who need to hear this healing message for Leo's. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so, so you can get more content just like this. And if this one didn't resonate with you, there is other ones in my playlist. So you can go under Leo reading and find them there. I find that, you know, even if it's mid-month of last year or whatever, if the storyline, if the sentence in the description is your storyline, these are timeless. So go ahead and check those out, and I will see you next time on Medium of the Light Tarot. Bye for now.